My name's Nick Cameron. I'm the manager of Nindawimba. Nindawimba is a breeding property located in southeast Queensland near Bow Desert. Uh, we're in a subtropical environment here. We breed Angus, Ultra Black, and Brangus cattle. I recently caught up with prospective beef producer Peter Hughes to talk about the introduction of Ultra Blacks into his Georgina pastoral operation. This is what he had to say. So, why were you attracted to Ultra Well, with the homozygous pole that you've got, those uh, over, over a horny herd, those bulls should get 75% plus pole calves, and I think that is, you know, in one hit, it almost solves your problem. It's, it's terribly important. Mm. I think it's extremely important to do that, especially in the extensive areas. I mean, there's not, not that we don't like working our cattle, it's just when you get to the economy scale of those big places, in that drier areas, you only work your cattle a couple of times a year, and if you miss calves, by the time you get them the next time, you know, they've got a fair, fair horn, and uh, I, I don't know anyone who likes to stand around there wanting calves all day. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, it's it's not only that part of it; it's a, it's the loss of production with 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 uh, horn cattle. If you've got to take those weaners off, and then you brand them dehorn, puts you way behind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's the way that the ultra blacks bred very carefully, the genetics is very good and um, and they're just beautiful quiet cattle. Mm. They make it so much easier and uh, temperament's so important, temperament in those extensive areas where they might only see you a couple of times a year. If they're docile, good temperament cattle, they do well. They don't they get on well with with what you've got to do with them. They truck well, they handle well, they wean well and uh, I think that's that's the that's the main thing. Yes. What about the fertility side of things? It's the fertility, also the eating quality of the beef. But the fertility is paramount. It's absolutely paramount, and they are very, you know, they're very fertile, very fertile cattle. Even branded calves, you know, 25 or 30 of them running around behind a bulling cow, you know, and that's that sort of indicates it's a very fertile herd. Mm -hmm. It might annoy you, but that's a very fertile herd when that happens. Yeah, any man management issues with the bulls um, at all? Or? Nick, if you if you want if you want saintly bulls, yeah. you're not going to have the you're not going to have the fertility that you're looking for. Yeah. You know, these uh, these bulls will fight. These bulls will crawl through fences to get at cows. They'll do all sorts of things that yeah. annoy you, but that's yeah. part of having a fertile herd. That's it. And the, the fertility is most important. If you don't like if you don't like handling bulls that are very fertile and, and are very active, well, try AI. AI. I think you'd go back to bulls very quickly. <laughs> well, what what market are you targeting with them? That's every market. Every market we're targeting. I mean, the ultra black, a good ultra black beast, is attractive to everyone who's involved in the cattle industry. And uh, I, I think you know you run into you build your numbers up in that in those dry areas and sometimes it doesn't rain. You might not be overstocked but you've got to unload a lot of cattle sometimes and you've got to have cattle that are very marketable into any market. And I can't think of any market that they're not readily readily sought after. Yeah. And I think it's it's only going to get stronger and stronger. Do you see that Angus and the Wag you having more of an influence in the north or, or an adapted maybe even a Brangus having more of an influence in the north now or, or you know, in the next 10 years? Well, I do. I do. I think they're, they're cattle that are very adapted to the to the northern environment and the southern environment. I, I don't, I, you know, don't discriminate. But there's Brangus, in the ultra black, there's Brangus blood infused in it to give them the slick coat, to handle those, those uh, parasites. But the most important way you can handle any parasite is have a good healthy beast. You know, a good healthy beast with a good coat doing well will handle those ticks. It's only when they start to get, you know, they start to they start to melt and, and go backwards and, and they get hairy and then the, the ticks just flock onto them then. Yeah. So you've got a good healthy slick coated beast, I reckon they'll handle, handle the, the parasite.
restaurants in the north as well as any cattle. If you'd like to know anything more on the Ultra Black Breeding Program, please feel free to give me a bell or alternatively go to our website www.nindawimba.com.au and you'll find quite a bit of information there.